the less I do, the more I make. Ron Legrand, book review. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. On occasion, we like to do little book reviews. This is a good one. This is a really good one. I, I'm surprised I haven't heard more about it. And I think it's because Ron Legrand is one of these people that, that you either know him or you don't know him. And if you know him, he's kind of a bit of a superstar within his own within his own circle and if you don't know him you just don't you don't know what you're missing Ron Legrand is is one of the major real estate gurus out there that teaches how to go about uh, uh, building up a real estate empire but in a very particular way and I'm not going to ruin that too much of that for you but um, says uh, he's been an entrepreneur since the age of 18. In 1992, he entered the real estate business, innovating the industry by creating systems to buy and sell houses without risk. Today, Ron and his company, Global Publishing Inc., mentor others on the real estate business, and Ron speaks around the world on the topic, and so on and so forth. So how I know about Ron Legrand is via uh, Dan Kennedy, he, he has been a person that studied Dan Kennedy and worked with him for years and years. You could find very old recordings out there of them talking back and forth about the things that they do. Um, and so that, that's kind of how I got introduced into his world. I've always been a fan of his insights. Uh, every time I've ever been able to catch anything from him, I've really enjoyed. And this book is no... It's no exception because, uh, well, the subtitle is Automate or Die, How to Get More Done in Less Time and Take Your Life Back. And I've always liked this quote. I've heard this one before. The less I do, the more I make. I mean, you want to talk about something that goes against the way most of us are raised, the way most of us think. And it's not about being lazy. It's about delegating things to their best possible location within your business and it comes back a lot of his ideas that he brings up in here especially early on in the book uh, bring back a lot of these concepts of like um, the e-myth revisited if you haven't read that one it's another classic to get your hands on the idea of working on your business versus in your business and obviously there's always going to be a necessity to work somewhat in your business but working on your business is working from the outside in and having your business be separate from you as a, as a separate, as, as something that is systemized and runs on its own and has people and processes and software and mechanics and, and other, uh, both uh, delegating properties and outsourcing properties, which he goes through in this, and how all these things run together to create the end game, which is, in the end, as far as a business owner is concerned, is what am I getting from this business? And for me to be able to get something, the customer has to be able to get something and it has to ha happen on an ongoing basis. It can't be a scam. It can't not work for people. It has to keep working. You have to have happy customers, clients, patients, whatever, that are paying you on an ongoing basis. And so he goes through a lot of these principles he deals a lot with the principles first and then digs down into how to go about doing it. He's very plain spoken. I, I guess you would say he has kind of a folksy tone to everything. So it's a very easy read, especially in comparison to a lot of the other things that I bring up. And a lot of things that are heavy in principles tend to be a little more lofty in language. This is very straightforward. Now, not all the steps in here are going to work forever. Like he mentioned specific websites and other things, and those things come and go. But if you get the principle behind what he's saying, it's such good material. Now, as a book unto itself, it's something I recommend because it helps you to put you in that frame of mind it it, uh, it also brings up that concept that um, that the Dan Sullivan book, you know, who not how. So focusing on who can solve this problem, who can do this in my business versus how this should be done. Finding a who that already knows how is how is the best way to solve any problem when it comes to a business. And so that's what he's talking about here. The less I do, the more I make. Um, get yourself out of your business and have it run somewhat 
uh, on its own. So uh, I also wanted to talk not only about the fact that it's a good book and you'll get good stuff out of it, and he, he, but he does a whole lot of talking about how it affects his real estate business. And in that process, he's also promoting his real estate business and the materials that he has available for people to be able to use. He does it throughout the book. This is a great use of a book. So if you just wanted to study how to create a book to um, create a very specific effect with the reader, how to reach a very specific reader with a very specific end game, this is a great a great example of how to go about doing it. It starts out with with a, a handful of testimonials. The first few pages are nothing but testimonials. And then it goes into, you know, an introduction and all the rest, like you have dedication and other things that you have with a book. And then a huge portion of the end of the book is testimonials with pictures. People who he has worked with that uh, have these great results in their life with, with actual names, where they're from, and a lot of pictures, some pictures of, of what they've done and, and elsewise. We also have the uh, uh, resources section with, with a whole lot of websites and other places that you can get the things done that he discusses, especially in terms of outsourcing. Um, really great material and a great way to structure it because in its own way, it's a promotional piece for him. If you could look past that, get what you want out of it, but also realize that it in and of itself is a great way to structure a book. And I, I was having a discussion earlier today with Cecile, if you're out there, Cecile, hi. Uh, and and she, we were discussing, you know, possibility of writing books and what you're after with the book. Who are you trying to reach? What are you hoping that they get out of it? What, what is the ideal scenario for them to be able to walk away? What, what, what would be just perfect if you could put this book in their hands, regardless of how many of them you sell, you put this book in their hands, what happens next? And this is a great example of somebody going after a very specific end and using the concept of automation to be able to pull in the type of person that he wants to talk to. So it's a very good, very good book. Ron Legrand's The Less I Do, The More I Make. That's all I've got for today. Hey, if you're interested in really making your business automated, a huge piece of that is having enough marketing to hit the right people. This book is a great example of content marketing. Content marketing is that idea of having something of great value, even if you sell it, but that it also has a marketing end to it. It has, it has a, a pitch of, in a sense, of asking a person to do the next step, whether that next step makes you money or not, regardless, having that next step be taken, and it, but it comes out in the form of content. So a physical book like this can be content marketing. You can do online videos, you can do courses, you can do, a, a, there's a million different ways, podcasts like what you're watching or listening to right now. All of that's content marketing. If you're wondering whether content marketing would work for you or not, go check out contentmarketingquestion.com. That is that is my course all on the subject. By the time you get done with that course, you will have the answer to your question one way or the other. And if you don't, you can get your money back, okay? Just send me a message. I'll, I'll give you your money back if you're not satisfied with, with the course. Uh, how do you beat that? Go to contentmarketingquestion.com. That's all I've got for tonight. You have a good one. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.